about four or five years ago, you would have said Mark number 10. Now, teams are saying Mark all 10 of them. That's the story of Argentina and how they've been able to evolve. They can play anywhere. They've, they've been able to play everywhere, and it doesn't matter. Altitude, heat, cold, desert, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It doesn't matter. You tell them where to play, they will go play you, and they will play you intelligently. That was a story again today, because one of the big talking points that was coming in leading up to the match against Bolivia was, oh my goodness, the altitude, oh my goodness, the altitude. Now, so many are very clear with this topic. The altitude has only been a problem since Bolivia started to get results, dating back circa 19, early 1990s. Before that, it wasn't, it wasn't an issue. It was, became an issue to Brazilian and Argentine sides who were struggling to get results, who were struggling to get big results. And on the other end, they were getting big results handed against them. Although in Argentina's case, the past couple of times they've gone to La Paz, they've been able to sneak out with victories. Today, Argentina played brilliantly. They played, I don't know if a perfect match, but a near perfect match without Leo Messi. So that ends up being the implementation of a system over a system being implemented over an individual, which was the case in prior cycles, which was the case in prior years, which is the strengthening of a core, the galvanizing of a core, saying, hey, we need this guy, but we really don't require him to be there every step of the way. We can handle it. And it's also a view to the future, 2026, in the event that Leo Messi's not there, Argentina can continue going forth with their style of play, with the nucleus of players already established, and more importantly, with players understanding how to step in and dictate said style of play. Today, we saw Julian Alvarez, who was brilliant, Enzo Fernandez, who ended up scoring a goal. Enzo Fernandez, if you're, wear, if you're a team that wears green, might as well change your uniform on that day because he'll tend to score against you. Nicolas Tagliafico played brilliantly. He also scored. Otamendi also ended up being a pretty important part of, of Argentina. You see a lot of players that ended up being such a fundamental part of Argentina. Angel Di Maria was just sensational as well today. So overall, Argentina played a very good match in very apparently dire concert, um, in a dire setting. And not only that, they really didn't seem to have much trouble at all against a Bolivia that is just absolutely woeful. That is absolutely brutal. And to make things worse, they ended up playing a good part of the first half. And of course, the entire second half, a man down, which does accentuate their problems even more. And Bolivia will delve into that in a future conversation. But for now, Argentina have just looked 